Hello everyone, welcome to Nilanjana's exclusive English lessons. My name is Nilanjana Sarkar and I welcome all of you to my channel. Today we are going to do the poem, a doctor's journal entry for August 6th, 1945, written by Vikram Seth. Vikram Seth is an Indian poet, novelist and travel writer and he wrote this poem in response to the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He has won multiple awards such as Padma Shri, Sahit Academy Awards, the W.H. Smith Literary Award, and also the Crossword Book Award. His poems are very meaningful. For example, the poem uh, that he has written, The Frog and the Nightingale, which was also included in the CBSC curriculum a few years back. It's very meaningful. All right. So without wasting much time, let me dive into the poem. Now in this poem, Vikram said he gives a vivid account of a doctor's experience during a catastrophic event. The event I had already said in the beginning that this is written in response to the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The narrator is a medical doctor and he describes his experiences when the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan on 6th August 1945. This poem can be called an anti-war poem. Because this poem we show us that if there is a war, the level of destruction is so severe, so damaging. So he describes the scene of fire, destruction, blood, loss of limbs, death through the doctor's horrific experience of undergoing the ordeal. At the same time, the poem also depicts the sorrow and suffering afflicted on the victims after the devastation. Matlab, अगर सीरियसली हम लोग अगर सोचते हैं कि जो लोग सफर करते हैं, we are lucky if we are not belonging to a country which has seen the war in the recent years. I would say that we are really blessed, lucky, and we should be grateful. But on the other hand, there are still countries which are uh, suffering from these kind of catastrophic events, and my heart reaches out to those people. Therefore, this poem teaches us and gives us a moral that. We should say no to wars because wars never resolve a conflict. That's not the way to resolve a conflict. There should be some other ways where a conflict between two nations should be resolved, but definitely not through war. With this, I begin the explanation of the poem. Thank you for watching the channel and those who are coming to my channel for the first time. Please subscribe if you like the content. Share this video with others. The morning stretched calm, beautiful and warm. Sprawling half clad, I gazed out at the form of shimmering leaves and shadows. Suddenly, a strong flash, then another, startled me. So the narrator describes his experience on that fateful morning. Fateful morning of that day when the atomic bomb was dropped in Hiroshima. Just like any other morning, that morning was also very normal and very relaxing for him. It stretched calm, beautiful and warm. So it was a calm morning, quiet and peaceful, serene, beautiful and warm. Sprawling half clad, I gazed out at the form of shimmering leaves and shadows. Sprawling half clad. Now the doctor is at his home. So when we are at our home, we are, we are usually in a very relaxing state. So he was also in a very relaxing uh, state and he was uh, not dressed formally. He was half clad. So half clad refers to he was in his uh, shorts and, and an undershirt. Shorts and undershirt. Undershirt is a, a garment that you wear inside your regular shirt because he was relaxing and you know he was very uh, cozy. Sprawling means he was in a relaxing position. Spread out, you can say. I gazed out. Now, gazed means he looked out. And what did he look out to? He looked out at the shining leaves and shadows. Outside his house, the window, everything looked very beautiful and peaceful. The leaves were green in color. It was shining under the sunlight. And he looked at all these things and he was like very calm and relaxing state of mind. Suddenly, a strong flash, then another, 
startled me. So all of a sudden, as he was gazing at the leaves that were shimmering and casting shadows, a sudden strong flash followed by another startled the doctor. Startled means shocked the doctor. A sudden flash means jor se a light ka flash, a lightning the house. And it was very sudden and very strong. And immediately he saw the old stone lantern brightly lit. Magnesium flares while I debated it. So he was wondering that was it magnesium flares? What kind of a light is this? Magnesium flares produce a bright intense light and it is usually used for military purpose. So while he debated it means he was trying to understand ki ye light aai kahan. I'm trying to explain as much as possible in Hindi. I know there are many learners who are looking for Hindi explanation. So this explanation is going to be both in Hindi as well as in English. The roof, the roof, the walls and as it seemed, the world collapsed in timber and dip. Jaisi usko wo light dikha, immediately the roof collapsed. Uska ghar ka jo chhat tha, that collapsed. Not only that, the walls. Immediately Immediately, usko laga ki sab jaga se debris or destruction shuru ho gaya. Debris means wreckage and timber refers to wood. Charu taraf pura dust bhar gaya. Dust swirled around me. Everything was covered with dust because you must have realize that if there is a destruction like when we demolish houses right what happens everywhere is filled with dust so similarly since everything around him collapsed there was dust and destruction everywhere around me in the garden now and weird my drawers and undershirt disappeared. Suddenly he notices that his drawers means the shorts that he was wearing and even his shirt, they disappeared. So obviously for him it was weird, strange. Weird ka matlab hai, strange. Matlab achanak ye kya ho gaya? He's still trying to understand that what is the reason behind this. He's confused and he's completely disoriented. Ye kyu disappear ho gaya? Uska shorts aur jo shirt wo pehna tha, kyu, ye disappear kyu hua? Kyunki... It got burned due to the bomb explosion. Bomb, jab explode hota hai, uska severity itna bhayanak hota hai ki charu taraf, jo bhi hai, everything gets. Luckily, they are still alive. But just after some time, we will see that how everything around him looks. The roof, the walls, in fact, the entire world collapsed in timber and debris. Entire world collapsed. Now, this is a figure of speech and this is a hyperbole. Hyperbole means... It's an exaggeration. When the poet describes vividly the impact of the explosion, that's the reason he described, he used this particular figure of speech, which is a hyperbole. I repeat, the pronunciation is not hyperbole. It's hyperbole. And uh, even though the spelling is like, so just take care of this because I've heard many students pronouncing it as wrong. All right. So this was the confused and disoriented state of the doctors. Now, if you see the title of the poem, it's a journal end. The doctor went through these experiences, this horrib horrific experience, and he is actually writing a journal based on his experience. What is a journal? Those who are familiar with diary entry, I would say that a journal entry is similar to writing a diary entry, where you record your day-to-day -day experiences. And usually these kind of uh, note making is for personal purpose. Like there are many people who love to note down their day-to-day life experiences in the form of a diary entry. So the doctor over here is also writing a journal and he's recording the experiences that he had underwent when his city was destructed under the bomb explosion. A splinter jutted from my mangled thigh. Achanak usko laga ki uska jo thigh hai, usme kuch ghus gaya hai. Matlab, a splinter. Now what is a splinter? A splinter is a sharp object. It can be a piece of glass, a very sharp object. So jab ye sab ho raha tha, achanak usko still a confused mind and that also that is mangled in a mangled mangled means severely injured kabhi kabhi jab cheeze mangled ho jate hain matlab uska shape bhi pura distort ho jate hain here the meaning can be taken as severely injured so ek kaanch ka tukra uska jo thai hai usme pierce ho gaya tha and doctor ne ye bhi dekha my right side bled uska jo right side hai it was bleeding profusely my cheek was torn. Uska jo cheek hai, wo bhi severely injured or damaged tha. And I dislodged detachedly a piece of glass. Aur usne kya kya? Usne jo kaanch ka jo tukra ghus gaya tha, usne wo nikal diya. Dislodged means removed. He removed that piece of glass in a detached manner. Why detached manner? Because he was still trying to understand that what is happening. Jab achanak, 
एक झटके में सब कुछ डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाता है आवर माइंड डजेंट वर्क एट टाइम यू नो इट बिकम्स नम इवन दो ही वॉज डूइंग अंडरस्टैंड दैट हिज हाउस वॉज डिस्ट्रॉयड everything around him was in a state of devastation but still somewhere his mind is not supporting him so in an uninvolved manner he removes the piece of glass from his thigh so detachedly means in an uninvolved manner all the time wondering what had come to pass all the time he is trying to understand gauge the situation ki hua kya achanak ye kya ho gaya hai ki everything seems to have taken a new perspective and everything like you know disappeared within a flash of a eye he's trying to make sense of the entire situation where was my wife alarmed i gave a shout where are you yokosan my blood gushed out the artery in my neck scared for my life i called out panic stricken to my wife achanak usko yaad aaya कि मेरे घर में मेरे जो फैमिली मेंबर्स है स्पेशली हिज वाइफ यहाँ पे उसके वाइफ के बारे में ही बोला है वे वो शी उसको लगा कि सब ठीक तो है ना इज शी देर इज शी स्टिल देर अलाइव ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ डाउट वर्ड इन हिज माइंड सो अचानक उसने ही गेव अ शाउट उसने बुलाया अलार्म्ड इन एन अलार्म्ड मैनर ही गेव अ शाउट द वर्ड अलार्म्ड मीन्स फ्राइटन सो ही वॉज वेरी फ्राइटन एंड स्केर्ड वाई वॉज ही फ्राइटन आई होप शी इज फाइन माई वाइफ इज फाइन वेर आर यू सो ही कॉल्स आउट टू हिज वाइफ द वाइफ हिज wife's name is yokosan and in this at the same time my blood gushed out the artery in my neck as as i had said earlier he was profusely bleeding aur uska jo artery hai neck mein wahan se bahut tezi mein khoon nikal rahe scared for my life i called out panic stricken he was in a state of panic he was scared for his life usko lag raha tha ki shayad mere bachne ka chances bahut कम है सो ही वॉज वेरी स्केट फॉर हिज लाइफ एंड ही कॉल्ड आउट पैनिक स्ट्रिकन बहुत ही डरा हुआ एक स्टेट ऑफ पैनिक में उसने अपने वाइफ को बुलाया ही कॉल्ड आउट टू हिज वाइफ नाउ द वाइफ अपियर्स पेल ब्लड स्टेन एंड फ्राइटन सो दिस इज द वे शी अपियर्स द वर्ड्स विच द पोएट हैज डिस्क्राइब यू कैन रिलेट दीज वर्ड्स टू एनी बडी हु गोज थ्रू अ सिमिलर सिचुएशन how painful we can imagine the people what kind of a painful scenario the people had gone through we can imagine very vividly so she appeared in a very pale state filled with blood everywhere and extremely frightened bahut hi dari hui ekdam yoko san emerged holding her elbow so she, so she emerged she came out and she stood in front of him she was holding her elbow means she was injured she was severely injured and she was holding her elbow maybe trying to control the blood flow blood flow from there will be fine i urged let's get out quickly stumbling to the street he tried to reassure his wife ki hum log theek rahenge just like how our loved ones dear ones trying to reassure us even in that kind of a, a state of anxiety and panic still has the power he still has the calmness of his mind to reassure his wife and tries to be a strength of us, some you know tries to be a support for her so he urged her he told her let's get out quickly of the house and they stumbled to the stumbled means he, they walked with difficulty because they were severely injured that's the reason they were not able to walk properly so they somehow came to the street with a lot of difficult and immediately they fell why because stripped by something at our kuch cheez uske un log ke pair mein lag gaya और वो लोग गिर गए इसके बाद जो हम लोग रीड करेंगे दैट इज सो सो हॉरिफिक आई गैस आउट गैस आउट मेरे uh, मेरे से एक आवाज निकला दैट इज वेरी फ्राइटनिंग वेन आई सॉ इट वॉज अड इट वॉज अवियर हेड ऑफ अ पर्सन जो अभी अभी ये जो बॉम्ब एक्सप्लोशन के लिए पीपल हु डाइड वहां से किसी का हेड गिरा हुआ था एंड ही कुडेंट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू रियक्ट ही सेड एक्सक्यूज मी प्लीज एक्सक्यूज मी ही वॉज डेड सो ही जस्ट मटर्ड एंड एक्सक्यूज एंड ही ट्राई टू मूव आउट फ्रॉम द प्ले इवन दो ही न्यू दैट ही वॉज टेलिंग दीज लाइन टू अ पर्सन हु वॉज नो लॉन्गर अ लाइफ बट दैट वॉज द बेस्ट थिंग दैट ही कुड डू एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम अ गेट हैड क्रश हिम जिसका हेड वहां पे गिरा हुआ था How he died? He was crushed to death by a gate. A gate gir gaya tha, or uske liye this man probably must have died. So the doctor, who is the narrator, he apologized to the dead man for stepping on him. How sad! He didn't know what he was supposed to do, and neither the dead man could obviously hear his apology. Iske baad there we stood afraid. A house standing before us tilted, swayed, toppled, and crashed. Fire sprang up in the dark. Destruction. 
was extremely severe, which frightened both the doctor and his wife. Even a house that was standing before them, it tilted. मतलब वो bend हो गया. Tilted means bend. Bend हो गया. Swayed. Swayed means एक मतलब एक तरफ से दूसरी तरफ वो move करने लगा. Toppled. और उसके बाद वो house गिर गया और crash हो गया. और immediately उनकी आँखों के सामने fire sprang up in the dust. Immediately the house was in flames and the flame Well, the house was further engulfed in flames because the wind was also very strong. So, un unke aankhon ke samne ek house puri tarah se destroy ho gaya. Spread by the wind, it dawned on us we must get to the hospital. We needed aid, and I should help my staff too. Though this made sense to me then, I wonder how I could. Now he is a doctor. Suddenly, usko laga. He, they need to go to the hospital. उनको हॉस्पिटल जाना चाहिए ट्रीटमेंट के लिए दे मस्ट गेट टू दॉस्पिटल बिकॉज बोथ ऑफ देम वर बैडली वुंडेड एंड दे नीडेड फर्स्ट एड एंड एट द सेम टाइम उसको ये भी लगा की एज अ डॉक्टर ही नीड्स टू डू हिज ड्यूटी क्योंकि उनका जो स्टाफ है हॉस्पिटल में उनको भी हेल्प चाहिए दे नीडेड हिम इन अटेंडिंग टू दिक्टम्स हु सफर्ड इंजुरी और लॉस ऑफ लिम्स ड्यू टू द वायलेंट एक्सप्लोशन एक्सप्लोशन के लिए क्या होता है हमारे जो लिम्स है हाथ पैर ये सब कम्प्लीटली डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाता है किसी की हाथ गिरा हुआ है किसी का पैर गिरा हुआ है किसी का हेड हमने देखा रोड uh, पे गिरा हुआ है बॉम्ब जब एक्सप्लोशन होता है दिस इज हाउ वॉट हैपन्स सो डॉक्टर को लगा कि मुझे तो जाना चाहिए हॉस्पिटल में टू get first aid for me and my wife but at the same time my staff also needs my help right i should help my staff too but unfortunately usko ye bhi samajh mein nahi aa raha tha ki wo kaise help kare kyunki wo khud itna injured the he was not able to understand how he would help the victims in giving the aid my legs gave way now my legs gave way this means that his legs were becoming very stiff why they were becoming stiff because he was severely injured so my legs gave way means he was not able to walk any further so he just sat down and why did he sit down because he was very injured and his legs were stiff with blood i sat down on the ground thirst seized me aur usko bahut thirsty feel ho raha tha he wanted to drink water but there was no water kahan pe kahan se milega usko paan kuch to raha hi nahi city my breath was short but bit by bit my strength seemed to revive so even in the face of extreme adversity thodi slowly and slowly he was regaining his strength bit by bit usko strength regain ho raha tha and still he got up i got up at length finally at length means finally he got up i was still naked but i felt no shame uske kapde jo whatever he was wearing the clothes were already burnt because of the explosion everything was burnt and he was naked but i felt no shame because wo sochne ka mauka hi nahi tha this thought disturbed me somewhat till i came upon a soldier standing silently who gave the towel round his neck to me my legs stiff with dried blood rebel i said to yoko san she must go on so yahan pe kya hua humne dekha ki doctor ka jo leg hai they were stiff with dried blood usko bahut pyaas laga but no water could be found thirst seized him but no water could be found and his breath was also short breath was short means he was not able to breathe properly isi mein usne apne wife ko bola ki tum chale jao hospital mein you should go ahead to the hospital because she needed aid because jab usne dekha ki main khud nahi chal pa raha hu let my wife go ahead and at least let her live let her remain alive let her get the first aid यहाँ पे हमको ये भी देखना चाहिए कि दिस डॉक्टर इन स्पाइट ऑफ द इंटेंस सफरिंग एंड केयर्स ही इज स्टिल थिंकिंग एंड कंसर्न फॉर द कॉमन मैन जस्ट लाइक हाउ डॉक्टर्स शुड बी द डॉक्टर हिमसेल्फ इज ब्लीडिंग बट ही वॉन्ट्स टू एक्सटेंड हेल्प टू हिस्स स्टाफ बट एट द सेम टाइम ही इज हेल्पलेस इवन अ सोल्जर offers a towel to help the doctor cover up his nakedness so what does this convey this these lines convey a very important fact that in spite of intense suffering in spite of intense pain in spite of the tremendous devastation goodness in human nature does not vanish बहुत प्रॉब्लम में भी हमारे अंदर जो इंसानियत है जो गुडनेस रहता है वो वो दिखता है ऐसा नहीं कि वो पूरी तरह वैनिश हो जाता है सो so, डॉक्टर ने बोला कि तुम चले जाओ बट शी डिड नॉट विश व्हाई? बिकॉज नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू लीव बिहाइंड द लव्ड वंस राइट बट इन आवर डिस्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रेस मीन्स इन आवर पेन वॉट चॉइस हैड वी ऐसे मोमेंट में ऑब्वियसली नो बडी वुड लाइक टू 
you know, depart from the, their loved ones, their near and dear ones. Because kya pata ki wo milenge ki nahi iske baad. She didn't want to go, but unke paas koi choice hi nahi. When the wife left, a dreadful loneliness came over me when she had. My mind ran at high speed, my body crept behind. The doctor was very lonely. When the wife was gone, he was feeling a dreadful, a horrible, a terrible loneliness. Usko grasp kia. This figure of speech, uh, this figure of speech is personification. A dreadful loneliness came over when she had gone. The dreadful loneliness is used to describe the helpless condition of not only the doctors here, but all the survivors. The doctor's body was weak. When he's telling, my mind ran at high speed, my body crept behind. Matlab, my body was very weak. My body was exhausted. It was injured. My legs were not supporting me. He couldn't walk. But his mind raced ahead. I saw the shadowy forms of people. He started imagining the blurred shapes of people. The people in his mind, they looked like ghosts and scarecrows because that was the condition. Majority of the people died and even the people who were alive, they were like ghosts and scarecrows, burnt, injured, severely damaged. Kisi ka haath nahi hai, kisi ka pair nahi hai. To wo aise dik raha tha, like ghost and scare. All were wordless dumb, arms stretched straight out, shoulder to dangling hand. It took some time for me to understand the friction on their burns caused so much pain. They feared to chaff फ्लैश अगेन फ्लैश अगेन जो लोग दिखे रास्ते में वो सब कैसे दिख रहे थे कोई घोष कोई स्केर क्रोज एंड ऑल वर वर्ड लेस डाउन नो बडी वर स्पीकिंग अ वर्ड किसी के पास कुछ वर्ड रहा ही नहीं क्या बोलेंगे पीपल वर डम डम आउट ऑफ शॉक डम आउट ऑफ pain dumb out of suffering and how were the people walking their arms were stretched straight out wo log apne haath ko aage lekar they were all walking शोल्डर टू डैंगलिंग है तो डॉक्टर को समझ में नहीं आया कि ये लोग ऐसे क्यों चल रहे थे इट टुक सम टाइम फॉर मी टू अंडरस्टैंड द फ्रिक्शन ऑन देयर बर्न्स कॉस्ट सो मच पेन द पीपल हु वर अलाइव दे वर ऑल बर्न सो द फ्रिक्शन ऑन देयर बर्न्स वर सो पेनफुल दैट दे ट्राई टू रिड्यूस मिनिमाइज द पेन बाई कीपिंग देयर आर्म स्ट्रेच आउट बिकॉज जब फ्रिक्शन होता है फ्लैश से फ्लैश जब लगता है इट पेन्स ऑल द मोर एंड टू रिड्यूस टू मिनिमाइज द पेन टू गेट सम मोमेंटरी रिलीफ The people were all walking with their arms outstretched. Those who could shuffled in blank parade towards the hospital. जो लोगों के लिए possible था, people who were having the ability to walk and reach the hospital for first aid, they were all walking. But how they were walking in a blank parade? Shuffled means in a confused state, in a chaos. They were walking but without any expression. towards the hospital so blank parade blank means without any expression parade means a procession they were all walking together but in a shuffled manner of course there was nothing organized in the way they were walking some here some there some in groups so everybody was walking towards the hospital in blank parade blank with blank faces without any expression because even in such moments even tears you know will ditch you. you you don't you don't even have tears left in your eyes towards the hospital i saw dismayed dismayed means i was severely disappointed that there was a woman why was he disappointed He saw a woman with a child stand in my path, both without clothes. Had they come back from the bath? So, doctor, ko what time pe again his mind, you know, is disoriented, is confused. He saw a woman with a child, with an infant in his arms, in her arms, and she was standing on his path, and they were not having any clothes. So we know why, right? The clothes were all burned. So you can say over here that it's not just they're stripped of their clothes; they're stripped of their dignity. This is. what happens this is uh, the severity of the situation people getting stripped of their respect people getting stripped of their dignity it was the moment of humiliation and shame for everyone not only for them but for the entire humanity that how can someone inflict this kind of a pain to people the doctor wonders had they come back from the bath kya wo log naha ke aaye why they don't have clothes i turn my gaze was what I, well, but was at a loss that she should stand thus till i came across a man without clothes and now the thought arose that some strange thing had stripped us of our some strange thing yes it is the nuclear bomb the aftermath of the nuclear bomb explosion that everybody clothes got burned and people were walking standing naked in the roads walking towards the hospital and it was literally a shame on humanity so the doctor gazed turned his gaze and he saw even a man who was walking without clothes 
when he was at a loss when he was not able to understand why was she standing like that when he looked at someone else a man that's when he realized that some strange thing what is the strange thing the nuclear bomb that was dropped on the dreadful morning had burnt away everything the face of an old woman on the ground was marred with suffering but she made no sound silence was common to us all i heard no cries of anguish or a single word so the doctor he also saw the face of an old woman the face was filled with suffering it was destroyed with suffering but still she made no sound the face of an old woman on the ground was marred with suffering so he saw the face of an old woman and the face was severely damaged with suffering the word marred means damaged but still she made no sound she didn't cry she didn't shout why because i think there was nothing left in her there was no power left in her to even cry and to even react to this kind of situation silence was common to all this line is very painful and very meaningful silence was common to all everybody was silent silent out of shock silent out of pain and silent because there was nothing there was no way to react i heard no cries of anguish or a single usually when people are in pain when we get hurt we cry we show our pain we express our pain right but this situation was so different that's the reason the people even forgot to cry to show their pain and suffering to the world you can call it this silence to be the silence of death and why are they silent because there's a deep psychological shock that was common to all the shock was so severe and so deep that people forgot to react and what would be their react with this we come to the end of the poem i hope it is clear if any doubts you all can share your doubts in the comments the last thing which i would like to mention about the poem the poem depicts the horrors of a nuclear war and the after effects on humanity it exposes the humiliation and the nakedness caused by the bombing the doctor you can see was disturbed at the thought of not being ashamed of his nakedness and at the same time when the doctor gathers his strength to stand up even though he couldn't stand up in the beginning but when he gathers his strength to stand up we can say that this is how man is reborn and this shows the strength of human being to withstand the worst of calamities it was the indomitable will spurred by determination with which the japanese people were able to rebuild this shattered city once again and today japan japan has been transformed into one of the leading countries of the world even after it was destroyed in such a manner and how was it possible because of the indomitable will because of the indomitable strength of mind so therefore the lesson that we can take is war humko loss ke ilawa kuch nahi deta hai it's just loss and loss loss of resources loss of lives loss of everything and at the same time ye poem humko ye bhi sikhate hai ki agar hamare man mein ek sahas hai ek will hai ek ichcha hai ye sab cheez ko overcome karne ke liye then nothing can stop us kyunki aaj ke दिन में जापान एक इतना एडवांस्ड कंट्री हो गया है इतना टेक्नोलॉजी उन लोगों का शार्प है एडवांस्ड है कि यू कैन से दैट जापान इज वन ऑफ द लीडिंग कंट्रीज बहुत ही आगे बढ़ चुका है ये देश और कैसे हुआ है अपने विल के लिए हुआ फाइनली आई थिंक दैट्स ऑल दैट आई हैड टू से अबाउट द पोएम अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल पोएम विच जस्ट आई थिंक वी नीड टू रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन इट इसके बारे में हम जितना सोचेंगे हमको उतना पॉइंट्स आएंगे बोलने के लिए सो दे फोर प्लीज रीड एंड रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन द पोएम एंड येस इफ यू लाइक द कॉन्टेंट इफ यू लाइक द एक्सप्लेनेशन प्लीज गिव लाइक सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल फॉर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस यू कैन रेफर टू दिस ई मेल आई डी ड्रॉप एन ई मेल इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड एंड येस सम ई बुक्स आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल सम कोर्सेज आर देयर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव टेकन एक्शन एंड दे हैव एनरोल्ड फॉर दिस कोर्सेज इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर आंसर्स देर आर मेनी गाइड्स अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट सम ऑफ द famous workbooks uh, some of the good ones are for uh, from aman publication and uh, <clears throat> even channel memberships are there for by contributing a small amount you can even help me in creating free lessons so that's all thank you so much and have a beautiful day goodbye